Good evening, everybody. My name is Leslie Williams. I am Reg's daughter, uh, Robert's niece. I think I am very fortunate and blessed to have this life. Um, the next song is, the, is a new song. Um, being part of this dance group means we have to push our, our boundaries. Um, Robert's, one of Robert's teaching is to, in order for us to um, expand our boundaries. We need to understand the alphabet, so it's like making new words. So what we're doing tonight is making a new song. The song is The Frog. Robert and my dad are from our Kegani Haida from Heidelberg. They're... <laughs> they're 
They are the Jothlanas clan. Their, their mother's name is Vivian Aniskit. Her, her parents' name is Zola and David Aniskit. So if you guys are related to them, I would like to know because you guys are my blood. Um, so the next song is The Frog. And thank you all for being here. Hawa. Thank you. It's very exciting to be here. Very exciting for us to be here to celebrate with you songs of our ancestors, dances of our ancestors. They derived from our ancestors, but it's our responsibility to make it ours. And when we make it ours, then we have the right to hand it down on to our children. So let us continue the cycle as is happening right now. The next one we do is a chin. Thank you, Salmon, for your return. We're entering into a new cycle of Salmon returning, but we're having a kind of a crisis in BC, British Columbia, where, where most of us live, where we, we have fish farms that are, I feel are really hindering the uh, rebirth, renewal of our salmon. So I really caution if there's any thought of that happening here in Alaska that you think carefully about it because it really is affecting the uh, population. <clears throat> so this, when the salmon come back, it, we're insured of another year of food on the table. So let us welcome back the salmon.
Good evening, everyone. My name is Giras Kutzlie Lalo Hagens, Terry Lynn Williams Davidson. And for our next dance, we want to honor a very humble relative of ours, the mountain goat. For the mountain goat is the source, the traditional source, of the beautiful weavings of our ancestors, the Haida, the Tlingit, and the Simshian peoples. And I'm speaking about the beautiful weavings in Raven's Tail and Nahin and Chilkat. In Haida Gwaii, we did not have mountain goat. So it was the mountain goat that connected us to all of the people here, to the, to the Simshian and the Tlingat people. So the mountain goat connected our cultures, our people, and the land. Speaking of the land, you will no longer hear the name Queen Charlotte Islands. On June 17th, we are giving back the name Queen Charlotte Islands, and so the land is will forever be known as Haida Gwaii, Islands of the People. We also want to honor the weavers and the weaving, and we will have a beautiful rainbow robe and apron made by Cheryl Samuel and two beautiful robes and aprons woven by Marie, Marie Oldfield, uh, drawing the connection between the mountain goat and the beautiful weavings of our ancestors. We'd also like to honor all of the weavers who have kept alive this tradition, and especially Cheryl Samuel, who is so instrumental in bringing to life the Raven's Tail weaving. When the celebration started in 1982, there were so few robes here. And if you look today, there are so many of them. It is so wonderful to see that we are connecting back to our culture and back to the weavings of our ancestors. How a. So we are going to use a rain dance song from Skidigit for this song. But because the rainbow is on the stage, we'll trust that our powers will not bring rain today.
I'm uh, emotional about, about that dance. It's, it's a real um, um, incredible to be part of uh, a generation where we are reviving our culture again in Masset, where Masset and Skidigat, uh, we didn't hear Haida songs as children. And we, we were connected by a very thin thread to the ancient knowledge. And it's that thin thread that is, when we come together like today, we're creating a very thick rope to And that rope is getting thicker and thicker and thicker. And that, that's very exciting. I'm very excited that we are part of this and witnessing this, this growth. And I know that with this, the strength we're gaining in reclaiming our culture will give us strength to reclaim our place in the world, the greater world. The next one we call Two-Faced. It's a very special uh, mask created by Reg Davidson. The last one was created by Ben Davidson, the mountain goat, two-faced. Thank you. Oh, uh. Ideas are, are cheap. We have 10,000, 20,000 ideas a day. Every one of us, so often we say, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. How many times have you heard that? And how many, how many times have you said that? I'm going to. I was talking with a friend of mine a while back, and he kept, I kept hearing him say, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. 
And finally, I said to him that in one of our ancient teachings is you never talk about what you're going to do. You just do it. Uh, when you talk about it, you're taking energy away from what you want to do. It weakens, it weakens your drive to do what you're going to do. And after explaining this to him, he said, I'm going to remember that. <laughs> the uh, next one we call Raven Transforming into Human. It's a beautiful mask created by Charles Edenshaw, one of the premier artists in the latter part of the 1800s. Uh, our grandmother's father. Uh, this is a copy commissioned by one of our patrons down in San Jose. It's a beautiful mask.
Thank you all. Uh, I left my homeland two and a half weeks ago. We had a pole raising in Cooperstown, New York. And we left there on Tuesday morning, nine o'clock your time. And whoever booked our ticket, they wanted us to see all of America. So, Cooperstown, if you don't know it, it's north of New York City. They flew us to Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> and the plane was delayed four hours. Then we flew to Seattle. They told us the economy is slow, so we had to stay in a hotel overnight in Seattle. And then, they got us on the second plane. They flew us up to Anchorage. <laughs> <clears throat> they allowed us there four hours to have dinner in Anchorage, and then they flew us down here. So it was a very humbling experience to get here. Sometimes when we hit a road, we usually give up, but we're since all of that was free, we just kept going, so. <laughs> uh, as a lot of you know, our great, our grandfather was from Taku. And we feel honored here to sing our songs for you and with you. And we're very honored to lead the grand entrance and the grand exit. So. <laughs> They ask us to send two songs to you. So the song we're going to exit with tonight is the song we're going to use for the grand exit. Theoretically, all of you should know it. <laughs> so as you see, there's only nine of us, and there's 50 other dance groups, and we have to sing for all of you. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to use that song so we'll exit. 
So this is a practice night for all of you. So we want all of you to sing with us because as we leave, Hawa, we appreciate it. We thank you for the invitation. We're very honored to be here. Every time we see new dance groups, people singing, it humbles us. It's all of you that are going to make our next kids better people by doing this. Hawa.